Hello and welcome to Lacrosse Technologies Tech Talk, a show designed around answering your questions quickly and accurately. I'm Greg Peasel, and today we have some quick tips regarding the basic setup to your new 327-1414W wind speed weather station. So, let's go! This video is designed for those who wish to know the basic setup steps without having to flip open a 20-page manual. However, taking a look at it may not be the worst idea, as it will fill in any missing information not covered here. Of course, you can always post questions in the comment section below. Now, let's get started. To set up the station, you will need to find yourself a screwdriver or power drill with a Phillips head, two C batteries for the outdoor sensor, and three AAA batteries for the station itself. The first step in the initial setup here will be to install two C batteries into the outdoor sensor. If you are using this item for the first time in its out of the box condition, its cover will already be off. After the batteries are installed, according to polarity, the red light will flash when transmitting. After you see the light flashing, step two will be to connect the battery cover and tighten it by turning it to the right. Step three here involves taking out the connected mounting bracket and pole. You will notice out of the box it is tightened in its side mounting position. To give this sensor a place to stand on the table, we will adjust this to its bottom position by twisting the knob to the left to unscrew it. We can then align the square opening on the pole over the square of the mounting bracket to adjust it in its vertical position. All we have to do now is put back in the screw and tighten it by twisting the knob back to the right. From here, we can insert the pole into the bottom of the sensor and secure it with the two screws provided. Now, for step five, we can finally power up the weather station itself. Insert the five volt AC adapter into the wall outlet and then into the back of the station. We then recommend inserting three new AAA alkaline batteries into the back of the station as well. The batteries are optional, but they will help save your time and weather information during power loss. Your sensor's readings should show up within the first minute, meaning the dashes should turn in the numbers on screen pretty quickly. If not, double check the charge and polarity of the batteries in the sensor. Next, you will want to keep both the sensor and weather station together for at least 15 minutes. This allows the device to lock in the sensor's transmission signal. Step 7. After the 15 minute wait with the sensor connected to your station, you should be ready to move it to its approximate permanent location. Keeping in mind the maximum transmission range from this sensor to your station is over 300 feet in open air. This does not include walls, windows, trees, or any other objects that may cause interference. It may help to temporarily secure the sensor in its approximate location for a few days to make sure the transmission signal is still connected with the station before mounting it permanently. But let's show you how to mount it for when the station is ready. For the most accurate wind speed readings, you will want to mount this sensor level in an open area clear for about 50 feet in all directions. The construction of this newly designed bracket allows you to mount the sensor from the bottom or from the side. Attach it to the mounting surface with the provided screws through the holes on the mounting bracket. Another important thing to point out would be the model numbers for this unit. If you flip the station around to the back side, you will find not only the station's model number, but also the sensor and AC adapter model numbers that work with it as well. Additionally, each of these parts will have their own model numbers printed on themselves as well. Knowing where to find these model numbers will be important if you wish to search for more information about this product online. But now, to finish up the quick setup here, we figured showing you how to get through your basic settings menu would be a good idea. To enter the settings menu, press and hold the time set button for about two seconds. You should notice the information on screen change. Navigating through the menu is pretty easy. Use the up and down arrow buttons to adjust the values or turn on or off a function. If you hold either one of these arrow buttons, the values will adjust quickly. To confirm your adjustments and move to the next item in the menu, press and release the time set button again. 
And if you'd like to exit the settings menu, you can wait about 20 seconds or simply press and release the light button at any time to bring you back to the main screen. Here's a rundown of what the settings menu covers. The first item is the beep function on off setting. When turned on, you will hear a beep for every button push. Use the up or down arrow button to switch it on and off. After a press and release of the time set button, I move to the second item, which allows us to choose if we want to use the WWVB atomic time signal. It's important to note that if this is set to off, the third and fourth items in the settings menu will be skipped, moving us directly to item 5. But for example here, I will leave it on. The third item allows us to set our time zone. The fourth item is the daylight savings time on off setting. The fifth item allows us to choose between a 12 and 24 hour clock. The sixth item is where we set our time, starting with the hour, followed by the minutes. The eighth item here is where we set our date, starting with the year, then moving to the month, and ending with today's date. Item 11 lets us adjust how we'd like to view our wind speed in miles per hour or kilometers per hour. And finally, item number 12 allows us to choose between Fahrenheit or Celsius temperature readings. So there you go, you have just gone through the hardest part of setting up and using your new weather station. Don't forget to consult the provided manual should you have further questions regarding details not covered in this video. But also, feel free to comment below with any issues or specific questions you may have. We are here to help you. In the meantime, we hope you enjoy your new professional weather station. I'm Greg Pizzo, here for Lacrosse Technologies Tech Talk. We'll see you next time.